The puppet will be appearing in the sequel to the Five Nights at Freddy's movie, Five Nights at Freddy's 2, and it will potentially be a major antagonist. The puppet has always been a paranormal entity, being as powerful as to give the restless spirits of the kids murdered by William Afton a new lease on life, causing them to possess the Fazbear Band. In the story that's told within the games, the marionette or the puppet is possessed by a female spirit, that of Charlotte Emily, the daughter of Henry Emily. Like I mentioned before, the puppet is very powerful. It has this control over this mystical paranormal energy as it's able to literally transfer the souls of children into animatronic bodies and I'd say it's even more powerful than Golden Freddy who we know is pretty powerful within the world of Five Nights at Freddy's. The marionette or puppet is also able to remember key events in Five Nights at Freddy's history. It is able to remember the original victim of William Afton and so on and so forth. The marionette has also become known as sort of a Grim Reaper character within the world of Five Nights at Freddy's. But now that you know a little bit about the puppet's history and lore within the games, let's get into what you actually clicked on the video for, and that is the inclusion of the puppet in the sequel to the Five Nights at Freddy's movie. Early in the film, there is a scene in which Mike is talking to a doctor in what looks like a classroom or some kind of preschool. There is lots of drawings and toys and stuff, brightly colored decorations around in this room. And one notable thing in the background is a huge chalkboard with various things written on it. And funny enough, some of the things written on this chalkboard are bear, chick, fox, rabbit, and get this, puppet. Now obviously you can see the references to the Fazbear Band with each of the animals that they're supposed to be listed. But the one interesting thing is the inclusion of Puppet. Puppet is a character that appears in Five Nights at Freddy's 2 and is not an animatronic. However, to further back up the theory that the puppet will be a character in Five Nights at Freddy's 2 is something I completely missed both times I went to see this film. And that is, at the end of the credits, you can hear the puppet's music playing and the words, come find me, are displayed on screen. Now, if you go into the official soundtrack for the Five Nights at Freddy's movie done by the Newton Brothers, the last track in this soundtrack is called My Grandfather's Clock, and it sports the same FNAF 2 music box that we all know is synonymous with the puppet. Take a listen. So, with that in mind, it's pretty much confirmed that the puppet, if not a main antagonist, will have a supporting role during the events of the Five Nights at Freddy's movie sequel. And whilst we don't know much about the sequel, it is safe to assume that the puppet will have some kind of role, and I can't wait to see what they do with such a creepy character. For example, here's an idea. The main character catches glimpses of the puppet from the corner of their eye, as if the puppet is leading them to some hidden truth. 
I feel like they could really lean into more psychological thriller territory with the puppet to really amp up how mysterious and how powerful the puppet really is. But let me know what you guys think will happen with the puppet if a Five Nights at Freddy's sequel gets greenlit. And with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed. Do take care, have a great night, and I'll see you in the next video.